So, ladies and gentlemen, rabbits. And you can't do better than my next guest, Simon Whitehead and Scott Ray. Please give them a big hand. Thank you very much. Simon runs Hetfield Ferrets, um, and Scott is the country's leading butcher on YouTube. Very kind of you. Yeah, yeah. Now, have you brought along the reason you're here today? Have you brought along a copy of the book? We have some there. If anybody uh, wants to, uh, he's selling it. The copy. He's selling it already. The old, old, old <laughs> okay. well, Are you going to? Are you going to be signing this afterwards? We are. Uh, we, but most of them, yeah, and we'll do individual little. Messages on there. Individual messages. Individual messages. Well, we're going to speak you on mm -hmm. the front after. Now, yep. let's, talk about, let's talk about rabbits first of all. Um, Simon, they've been your life for you, haven't they? They have been, yeah. They, they, uh, I spent more time filming, photographing, harvesting, studying, everything, even conservation bodies now. We're, we're introducing that with everything to do with the rabbits. They're an introduced species, they're a pest, everybody hates them. Um, what's the benefit? The benefit of rabbits is, is they create ecosystems, so your lichens, your butterflies, your birds, your mammals. They rabbits benefit. are good for butterflies. Yeah, because the, the plants are growing, if the plants are crowded out by grasses and weeds, you've not got the flowers for the pollen, for the butterflies. And so what, as a prey species, the stalks, the foxes, the kites, the buzzards, they all survive on them, the stalks, the weasels. And a lot of people look at the, the downside and the glass is half empty, whereas the rabbit nation of the, of the world, our glass has always got to be half full. So they're, kind of, they're the British plankton, aren't they? They are, yeah. So you're the kind of great whale. Sitting through my gills. <laughs> it's not just a beer, is it? So Scott, just, Scott tell, me about, tell me about eating rabbits. Uh, I'd like to know about it, sorry. Alright, well let's start with, uh, with the obvious thing. They're a bit fiddly, they're a pain in the neck, and it's easy to go to Tesco to get some sausages, isn't it? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, they are very, very easy to prepare. Yeah, with a little bit of knowledge, you know, there's videos out there, obviously. Uh, this is what, 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 what video channel is that? This is a plant. Uh, uh, yeah, you can switch off now. It's just a plant. It's a plant. How many Never millions, of, how many millions of hits have you got? Uh, 50. 50 million hits. Yeah. Now, wouldn't the chefs here like to have that amount of hits? Uh, I imagine they would find me. I can, I can, of course, imagine here. So, Scott, you've got 225,000 subscribers, haven't you? 250. Uh, uh, two, yeah, 225, I looked at last night. And, Simon, your channel, how many subscribers have you got? Not a lot, because I, I'm a pig. I sell all my stuff for shooting time, so. 1,700. Why are you sitting on the same sofa as What's the point of that? I'm going to go over Simon, please. Well, well, it's like this. You could be the best butcher in the world, the best chef in the world. You could be the best human being in the world. Yeah. You can't catch a rabbit, you ain't going to cook it. Have you, when, you were get, when you were getting this together, did you learn about each other's worlds? Did you learn about cooking and you learned about catching them? Yeah, because that, that's the reason we come up with a book. The book was an idea of cross-pollinating my world with Scott's world. And obviously Scott is a huge YouTube presence. and. What he Scott does in his channel, if it, if it flies, crawls, swims, does whatever, he can harvest it, he can cook it, he can prepare it. Now, with my world, over the years we've discovered that, like you said, people don't want to prepare and cook about it because it's a social problem. And with this book, we have made it absolutely idiot proof. So even a culinary delinquent like me can open that book up. He's really going, it's got to be both this kind of guy. I, 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 can, I can prepare it, I can cook it, I can enjoy it like it should be. I've, I've never had a guest on the stage with Ray Bands before. It's only a rock star, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, that's nothing like um, that. Scott, take me back to the cookery side of it, because there is, as, as Simon says, there is an issue, isn't there? People don't like the idea of cooking a rabbit. What can you do about that? It's just education, you know, it, it's had a bad rap, a bad press, I mean, it's like, it's seen as old fashioned, you know, uh... Isn't there some old school show about it, the kind of one for the pot thing? Well, yeah, 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 but I, I mean, personally, I, I mean, I love cooking with rabbit, there's yeah, nothing you can do with rabbit, what can you do with the chicken you can do with rabbit, you know, in the, in the book, some of the recipes, you know, classic, classic French recipes, you know, uh, absolutely wonderful, and not 
far to prepare, and that's what the book is all about. It was uh, real people, real people. It's about making it easy. You know, why get complicated? Why make these dishes? You know, these Michelin star kinds of dishes. At the end of the day, we and we want to cook them, and that's what the book is about. Simplifying everything, getting rabbit back on the table. You have a butcher shop, don't you? Uh, I work for a butcher shop, yeah. but I, you know, obviously what I do takes up more of my time than my day job. But your butcher shop, does it have rabbits in fur hanging in the shop? No, no, no. Are you allowed to do that? It all depends. Yeah, if there is, you know, not meant to, but... Uh, Wouldn't that help? Wouldn't that help with the image of the rabbits? Oh, well, well, I think, you know, it's those old photos you see of all the rabbits hanging in the shop. Fantastic, and sh you know, that'll catch your eye, and, and yeah, people will make fun of it. And then again, on the flip side, people want to see what you think. Sorry, but I think that's detrimental because uh, we're living in a world where people are putting human emotions on animals, and we're just playing to that by having a rabbit up in its entire glory. Yeah, couldn't, they, couldn't, they, couldn't they see that it's there? They can see that it's becoming Well, yeah, but we're, we're dealing with an age where people, somebody summed it up perfectly this morning. The populace will put slug pants out and kill slugs, but they won't kill a slug. People will eat food if it's in a prepared state, but they won't take it from a bone. We just have three people saying we need to be loud and proud about our sport. Just, just, oh, don't, just it. don't get me wrong, we're loud and proud, but we've also got to realise we're living in the 21st century, and if it means adapting the form we get our message across, I think we've got to do it. And years ago, I did a TV programme with Clarissa Dixon Rant, and she was adamant she would go down Cambridge with a rabbit in a story. Didn't go down too well. As soon as she put that rabbit in a meatball or a burger, she was sold out. So it's about adapting, it's about being versatile to get our message across. Right, let's, let's do a quick bit of audience participation then. Who here would like to see rabbits in fur hanging up in butcher shop? As it's something that's good for the yeah, other few there. Who reckons Simon is right? It's better not to. No, we'll come to that. Oh, well, I'm afraid so, we'll catch you. Well, that's why I'm a rabbit catcher. <laughs> Keep me away from the rest of society. Scott, I mean, if you, were, if you had your own British shop, what would you do? Yeah, I would. Yeah, definitely. You would definitely do that. You've got to rest up my wouldn't you? Just, just, just hinge sideways every time that happens. Yeah. yeah, I would. Yeah, obviously, it's all weather orientated. You know, you want to be hanging out now, but in winter, I think. Now, how many flies on the wooden house? No, it's not a good look. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, in the winter, we're looking better than the old school dress butcher's window. I mean, I can still remember when we used to dress the windows in the late 80s, I think was the last of the heyday. But you could get away with all this before, dare I say, EU regulation time. Have you been talking about that? Yeah, you know, and that's what really, you know, took the flair out of it, I suppose. So, uh, crushed by regulation. Yes. But we're, we're, still, we're still finding a way to remove Yes. Well, I've, got a, I've got a wild game question. Okay, so um, I know that I have to cook my chicken all the way through um, because of the uh, amount yeah. of stuff it has. Yeah. With wild game, I don't have to just fry it on the side and, and red meat fine, isn't it? Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, Even with rabbit? rabbit? Um, no, with rabbit, I took out. Saying that, the loin you would, you know, obviously it's the components of the rabbit, the shoulders, the loin, the legs, they all cook differently, all different times. The loin you can get away with being maybe a little bit medium, but obviously the legs have got to be stewed down, it's going to be stuck with old boots. That's the only reason for that. So yeah, red meat, beautiful. And, 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 and again, another technical question, young rabbits or old rabbits, which one do you prefer? Uh, More meat or younger meat? Uh, again, specific jobs. If I was going to do something like a, uh, a rabbit with mustard, a young rabbit, if I was going to do a stew, you know, an old rabbit, you know, there's always just the portals. I use them all the time, then, you know. Scott, uh, Simon, have you learned anything from Scott in, in doing this uh, book writing process about how to cook? I'd say yes, maybe. I've learned loads in the, uh, in, in, as you said, I shoot Scott a trick or two uh, when it comes to rabbit as well, because the thing is, it's not my world, I'm, I'm a busy person, I live a hectic lifestyle and the, the, the beauty of what I learned about doing this book Sorry, you live a hectic lifestyle? Yeah, hectic So it, lifestyle. this is the warrior as kind of the futures trader waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning sweating it out in the city of London, it's not like that is it? No, it's, it's, it's not like that, working through the night and then, and then running around the country doing this It's just, you know, people think you're just living the dream but it's a little bit more hectic than that and the thing I learned 
Well, it's not only when I did the uh, research to see how the rapid had an impact on the social structure of Britain, but how, like you said earlier, only touched on how people view the rabbit and how, over years, people have looked down amongst rabbit. It's not, you know, to many people, it's not the same league as grouse, venison, or, or duck or partridge. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it not? Is it, is it, is it, it is, because it is. Because yeah. it's accessible, it's free, and anybody can get hold of rabbit. It has that sort of poor man's thought about it, doesn't it? Which it has in the past. Like I keep going back to, we're living in the 21st century, we've got to be adaptable to get our message across. And this is what we're doing with the head of the game. Any, like I said, anybody can get that book, anybody can open it up, from a complete beginner to a chef, there's something in there for everybody. And I have learned how to appreciate what we take for granted. That is the one thing I've learned. I take rabbits for granted, I shouldn't be guilty of that. And the microphone is stuck. Yes, it is. It's, Hello? You are doing quite an exhausting book tour, aren't you? We are, yeah. When did the book come out? Today. It, it's officially today, today, yeah. yeah, yeah it's but, uh, I mean, it's still wet. Yeah, I mean, it's gone really, really well, obviously. Nearly, nearly sold out on pre orders. Down to, you know, the following between us, we have. They've been fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy day today, definitely. All right, well, what we're going to ask you to do in a minute is move out to the front there and, uh, and sign some copies. And I, I think our help is going to give you a chair and a table awesome. to be able to do that. Um, I'm going to work out what's happening next. What is happening next? Ah, oh, good, yes, we've got Bass, and the chief executive of Bass is going to answer what Bass is up to. But first, if I may say, thank you very much thank to you, Scott. Guys. Uh, and to Simon uh, for everything about rabbits and please go and have a look at it if you can by ahead of the game when you just outside. <laughs>